Thank you so much for joining us for another devotion. I just wish you God's greatest blessing. You know, as we look at the situation in the world around us and we recognize that we need to be a part of the solution, there is a command that Jesus gives us that I'd like to share with you. It's in the Gospel of John, chapter 13, beginning at verse 34. He says, A new command I give you love one another and when you think about that you question whether or not this is a new command because you remember in Leviticus chapter 19 where he says love your neighbor as you love yourself so this command to love one another really isn't new but Jesus goes on where he says as I have loved you so you must love one another and then he says by this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. I was thinking about the ministry that we're a part of and the things that we learn from this ministry. Many, many years ago, there was a man who was living in the United States of America who was reading his newspaper and discovered that there was a group of teenagers who were on trial for murder. And he couldn't understand that people so young would brazenly go out and kill somebody and not really care about it. They were on trial and the death penalty was in place in those days. And they were not faced at all. So David Wilkerson actually went out to Brooklyn, New York, and he met with these people. He wrote a book about his experiences. It's called The Cross and the Switchblade. And in this book, he talks about how two rival gangs were at each other. And the leader of one of these gangs, the, the Mamas, was a guy by the name of Nicky Cruz. And as Wilkinson was trying to plead with the judge to help these people, for him to be able to work with them, you see him trying to engage Nicky in conversation. And at one stage, Nicky Cruz turns around to him, pulls out a knife, and says, Preacher, if you don't leave me alone, I will cut you into a thousand pieces. And Wilkinson looks at him and says, Yes, I believe that you probably would like to do that. But if you did, if you were to cut me into a thousand pieces, each one of those thousand pieces would still love you just as much. And that broke his heart. You know, sometimes when we look at the situation around us and when we see the need, Sometimes we really feel antagonism and we feel hatred well up inside us and we, we, we despise situations that are going on around us. But the best response is the response that God gives to us. In Romans chapter 5, he talks about how that at the time that we were God's enemies, he died for us. God wants us to love the way that Jesus loves and Jesus was willing to lay down his life for us. And he says that true love, real love, is this. That you be willing to lay down your life for each other. So as we think about that, and we think about a great challenge. Let's love the way that God loves. God bless you as you choose someone to love today.